starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You are listening to the New Investor Podcast. I guess it is of the utmost importance for us that we set ourselves, just like the city of Singapore, an impeccable level of discipline, understand the meaning of hard work, make the right choices and abide by a solid set of standards in order to achieve prosperity. It took decades for Singapore to reach such a level with an almost flawless execution. If we reverse engineer the success of this city-state, what will surface without a doubt are all the values to be upheld also by an investor as only one path leads to prosperity. Patience, hard work, discipline, resilience, and sacrifice. I believe this is interesting as the overwhelming majority of people would entertain a strong belief that they should start investing when markets are trending positive again, uh, motivated by uh, short-term goals. Whereas I can assure you that to start investing today when the markets are trending on the negative would be an excellent move for the long term. Should I take a long look at uh, my companies right now? Now they are all trading on a very interesting uh, discount and I believe the upcoming few days could be a very good time to start your journey. For those who have committed already, just be patient. I have no other tip to give you and stop thinking about those guys who are currently acquiring stocks cheaper than you did. They do not matter as the majority of them will sell them as soon as they can uh, make a profit. Not you. You will look at your gains in 10 or 15 years. What you could do now if you have cash on hand is to increase uh, possibly your positions in your current companies to lower your average further. A good way as you would increase your dividends as well at the same time, a win-win. A succession of small victories will lead you to reach ambitious goals, but for this to occur, you need to recognize them. Believe that saving an additional dollar a day is a victory. Save one dollar a day for 30 days, you save $30 per month or $360 per year. With $360 per year, you can purchase 13 shares of Bank of America, which will generate a dividend of $8 per year. Shall I continue? Okay, a coffee serving is 0.36 ounces or 10 grams. A jar of instant coffee is 50 grams, will cost you approximately $8. That $1 saving a day will therefore cover your reasonable daily uh, coffee consumption for almost two months. Try and apply the same reasoning to all your current expenses and see where are the low-hanging fruits that you can tackle right away and those you can achieve in a short, medium or long term. Others will classify you as stingy. I would classify you as a smart, forward-looking investor well on his way to financial freedom. I like that one a little bit better. Most of the actions we take are predicated on how others may perceive us or judge us as a result. Allow me to remind you that we are talking about your financial future, ultimately your survival, your happiness, your security and your freedom. That should be enough uh, for you to reply I don't care what you think. To recap the whole process again, establish your yearly budget, get rid of your wants, what is your goal? Start building capital today, think net worth, not savings, invest in companies you know, love and understand, and ideally that pays you dividends for obvious reasons, be consistent and pay yourself first every month without fail, however the amount, reinvest that amount, keep doing that operation month after month, and understand that this is a long-term game and that you will lose as an investor if you chase the quick gains. Work towards creating an additional source of income. Don't waste valuable time doing things that will not get you closer to that objective. It is a mindset and it is a way of life, but I am extremely confident in telling you that it is the only one that works at this stage in our journey. I believe there are also different stages to reach as an investor. We are at the first one, which is to build capital, our net worth, and develop the right mindset. The upcoming stages can only occur if we master the first one. I have a feeling I am on the right path and I am crawling right now, but soon I will walk and finally run.
Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game.